Good morning, folks. Today we've got a look at the updated hurricane track, some earthquakes, a newly discovered exoplanet, a story about the cosmos, continued recognition of the vulnerability of critical systems, and an upcoming observer event. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. We had several M-class solar flares and one tiny CME that appears like it could be heading our way. The flares are the bright flashes at the active regions, nice plasma filament incoming on the north as well. The one that may have produced an Earth-directed eruption was on the south, a filament release. This one will be very small and will not be much of a concern. We'll continue monitoring all the flaring regions and how they surge the coronal plasma nearby. Good chance that flaring continues today. The plasma filaments actually appear relatively stable for now, but of course that can change in a matter of hours. Updated track for Hurricane Lee shows New England in the crosshairs as well as far eastern Canada. We'll continue monitoring this one here as it tracks northward this week. We had two six-pointers in the western Pacific region, one in Indonesia and another in the Philippines. The latter happened just a bit ago, so we're awaiting any reports that come out of the area. James Webb spotted carbon dioxide and methane in the atmosphere of an exoplanet and other data suggest it could have a massive water ocean on it as well. Another fascinating discovery by James Webb. Interesting story up next about how scientists are confused over the lack of growth of cosmic structures. They say it's not fitting the expectation of Einstein's theory of relativity, and of course not. They are relying on gravity and dark energy to do their expectations, the first of which being overemphasized in cosmology, and the second one not being a real thing. Hard to get the answers right when you don't change the narrative that's been struggling for three decades. Good paper up next discussing the vulnerability of key systems, including nuclear, and how they are at risk from various natural phenomena, including geomagnetic storms, which is one that receives fairly less attention than others like earthquakes. Folks, just as it was a decade ago, the world's nuclear systems are not prepared for a big solar storm. Last but not least, for those in Colorado Springs or who will be nearby two weekends from now, we have our next Observer Networking event. Tickets can be found below the video in the description box, and I look forward to seeing many of you out there. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.